the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Diad, you know that regard is much more than fair a custom. It is the spine of all human intuitive. But what on the off chance that I told you that the way you get it regard may well be totally off base in this video. We are going reveal one of the greatest misinterpretations, almost human connections, and uncover how a need of regard can not, as it were, crush your connections, but to compromise your mental well-being. And well-being remain with, with us for a groundbreaking disclosure that may change the way you connected with the world around you. Learn how to secure your respect and move forward your interpersonal associations once and for all. And don't disregard, we need to listen from you. Share your encounters and contemplations within the comments underneath. Let's start reliable need of regard. Regard is more than kindness. It is the central column in all solid and beneficial human intuitive. When we experience a repetitive need of regard, checked by behaviors that decrease or totally disregard an individual's respect, this caution s eigen cannot be disregarded. Such behaviors can show in different ways, from consistent interferences in a discussion, to dangerous feedback or ponder lack of interest to somebody else's passionate needs. Each of these acts undermines the belief and security basic for any solid relationship. The perseverance of this need of regard could be a clear sign that the relationship may be compromised to a point where a person's mental well-being is at risk. In such circumstances, separating oneself isn't an abandonment, but a degree of self. Assurance. It is a fundamental step to protect mental peace and individual astuteness, anticipating the disintegration of self-esteem and the build-up of hatred. Choosing to separate oneself from a harmful energetic is an act of metal and self-respect. Reflecting on these intuitive permits, us to survey our claim values and reaffirm our commitment to individual nobility, building up and keeping up clear boundaries, is pivotal for any enduring and aware relationship. These bound arise, not as it were, ensure against passionate wear and tear, but moreover advance an environment where shared regard can thrive by confronting and recognizing the continuous need of regard. We offer up ourselves the chance for re-establishment and individual development. We learn to esteem indeed more those who treat us with the regard we merit and learn not to endure less than this usually a time to reflect on the part that regard plays in our lives, and how its non-appearance can be harming both to the individual and to the bro. Add a social texture, recognizing these signs and acting appropriately is basic for creating more beneficial and more satisfying connections. Negative impacts on mental health connections that reliably produce sentiments of uneasiness, pity or push are exceedingly inconvenient, not as it were to the quietness we all strive for, but moreover to our ability to operate soundly and ethically in existence. Stolid logic instructs us to look for mental tranquility as a fundamental state for the hone of ideals and great living in any case being included in connectionships that ceaselessly aggravate. This enthusiastic adjust straightforwardly challenges that objective when subjected to situations that sincerely destabilize us, we may encounter a decay in our mental well-being, which shows not as it were through enthusiastic inconvenience, but too as physical issues such as need of vitality, sleep deprivation, or stomach-related issues. These indications are clear signs that something within the dynamics of our connections isn't contributing into our well-being and must be carefully assessed. Getting to be mindful of the negative impacts of these connections is the primary step towards starting. Alter ensuring our mental well-being frequently includes making troublesome choices, such as constraining or ending contact with people who continue to cause passionate torment. Typically, a fundamental act of self-care and a confirmation of our right to a sound environment conducive to individual, individual improvement by separating ourselves from negative impacts and rebuilding our connections. We are not only shielding our mental well-being, 
but also fortifying our capacity to live more completely and high-mindedly. This prepare may include looking for bolster from companions, family or mental well-being experts who can give the direction and back fundamental to recapture enthusiastic solidness and fortify our commitment to an ethical life by developing and keeping up connections that bolster and hoist us we reaffirm our commitment to tranquility and ethicalness fundamental columns for es that negate our claim can erode our inward peace and compromise our realness living in a state of consistent moral misalignment is like attempting to explore without a compass in UNF commonplace domain, where each decision signs that you should cut all contact with someone. Stoicism. Stoicism is a philosophy that emphasizes self-control, resilience, and detachment from external events. While it can be a valuable mindset to adopt in certain situations, there are times when it may be a sign that you should cut all contact with someone. Here are some signs to look out for. 1. Emotional detachment. Stoicism encourages individuals to detach themselves from emotions and not let them dictate their actions. However, if you find yourself constantly suppressing your emotions and feeling disconnected from the person in question, it may be a sign that the relationship is no longer healthy or fulfilling. 2. Lack of empathy. Stoicism teaches individuals to focus on their own well-being and not be overly concerned with the emotions of others. While this mindset can be helpful in maintaining personal boundaries, if it leads to a complete lack of empathy or understanding towards the other person's feelings, it could be a sign that the relationship has become one-sided or toxic. 3. Unresolved Conflicts Stoicism encourages individuals to accept and endure hardships without complaint. While this can be beneficial in certain situations, if it leads to a reluctance to address or resolve conflicts within the relationship, it may cause underlying issues to fester and create distance between you and the other person. 4. Lack of Communication Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-reliance and self-sufficiency. However, if this mindset leads to a lack of communication or an unwillingness to express your needs, concerns or desires within the relationship, it can hinder healthy dialogue and prevent the growth of the connection. 5. Incompatible Values Stoicism promotes living in accordance with one's own values and virtues. If you find that your values and beliefs are fundamentally at odds with the other person's and this causes constant friction or a sense of moral misalignment, it may be a sign that the relationship is no longer compatible or fulfilling for either party. Remember, while stoicism can be a valuable tool for navigating life's challenges, it is important to recognize when it might be hindering your ability to form and maintain healthy relationships. Trust your instincts and evaluate whether cutting all contact with someone aligns with your own well-being and personal growth. Emotional Detachment Stoicism encourages individuals to detach themselves from their emotions and focus on maintaining a sense of inner peace. While this can be beneficial in certain situations, it can also lead to emotional distance within a relationship. If you find yourself constantly suppressing your emotions, or unable to connect on an emotional level with your partner, it may be worth exploring whether stoicism is contributing to this disconnect. 7. Lack of empathy. Stoicism places a strong emphasis on rationality and logic, often prioritizing these aspects over emotional empathy. While it is important to maintain a level-headed approach to conflicts and challenges, empathy and understanding are vital components of healthy relationships. If you find that your stoic mindset is preventing you from truly understanding and empathizing with your partner's emotions and experiences, it may be necessary to reassess your approach. 8. Difficulty in expressing affection. Stoicism encourages individuals to focus on what they can control and not become overly attached to external outcomes. This mindset can sometimes make it challenging 
to express affection and love to your partner. If you find it difficult to openly express your feelings or show physical affection, it is important to consider whether your stoic beliefs are inhibiting your ability to nurture a loving and fulfilling relationship. 9. Strained communication during conflicts. Stoicism teaches individuals to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity. While this can be helpful in resolving conflicts, it can also lead to a lack of open communication and unresolved issues. If you find that your stoic tendencies prevent you from addressing conflicts head on or expressing your needs and concerns during disagreements, it may be necessary to find a balance between stoicism and effective communication within your relationship. 10. Neglecting the emotional needs of your partner. Stoicism encourages self-reliance and self-sufficiency, which can sometimes lead to unintentional neglect of your partner's emotional needs. It is important to recognize that emotional support and connection are crucial aspects of any healthy relationship. If you find that your stoic mindset is causing you to overlook or dismiss your partner's emotional needs, it may be necessary to re-evaluate your approach and prioritize nurturing emotional intimacy in your relationship. In conclusion, while stoicism can offer valuable insights and tools for personal growth, it is important to recognize when it might be hindering the E, the development and maintenance of healthy relationships. It is essential to strike a balance between the stoic principles and the emotional connection required for fulfilling and satisfying partnerships. Remember to assess your own well-being and personal growth, as well as the compatibility and fulfillment within your relationships, to ensure a healthy and balanced approach to stoicism in your interactions with others. This can be done by actively listening to your partner, acknowledging their emotions and offering support and empathy. It is crucial to create a safe space where your partner feels 